Okay, this is Brittany Sheets Ryan Hard, uh, coordinator for Beyond Belief Network. Um, this is an intro welcome video for new, uh, for you know, members of Beyond Belief Network uh, who need a refresher on filling out a vet report uh, or looking for more information about Beyond Belief Network. Uh, so, Beyond Belief Network is the volunteering arm of Foundation Beyond Belief. It's a set of programs. Um, that have been combined into um, what we're now and streamlined into what we're now calling Beyond Belief Network. Um, so the programs were Volunteers Beyond Belief Foundation Partners Program and uh, our Life the Night team. And formerly, you had to join um, each of these programs individually. Uh, we've streamlined that so now anyone can join um, any of those programs or switch between them, do volunteering, do fundraising, do Light the Night walks, things of that nature. Um, all within the same program, Beyond Belief Network. Now, uh, teams that just want to join our email list or have access to our event idea guides um, are free to just do so and join Beyond Belief Network, but a lot of the perks that we offer, things like free t-shirts and grants, um, those are uh, contingent upon submitting event reports. So I'm going to start here on the foundation beyondbelief.org um, Beyond Belief Network page and show you a little bit of the features that you can find on this page and then we'll go to the event report and I have a sample event um, there to sort of use as an example. So if you go to the Beyond Belief Network homepage, you'll see uh, information about the history of the Beyond Belief Network. Um, we also have information about uh, Humanist Crisis Responders, which is a, an individual volunteering program where people can sign up to be deployed in the case of a domestic crisis or, you know, just help out in their community if someone um, needs help. So um, if you know somebody that needs help, you can use uh, the Helping Hands or the Rainbow Lion Project um, application forms and tell us about needy humanists in your area. And then we'll use Beyond Belief Network teams and um, people that are humanist crisis responders in order to help those people. Um, so those would also count. Um, if, you're, if your Beyond Belief Network team responds to a Helping Hands nomination, that would count as a, a Beyond Belief Network event. Um, so keep those things in mind. Um, your members are also free to join Humanist Crisis Responders uh, if they want to. Now at the bottom of the page we have helpful links and information for teams. So we have um, the different levels um, required to get the different types of perks. So eight free t-shirts at level one and 12 additional t-shirts at level three. Um, there's a link to our Beyond Belief Network Facebook group um, and the event report and promotion request form, which we're going to be using in a second. Uh, and that's really the most important form that you're going to fill out if you need uh, things like free t-shirts and grants. Um, or if you want to win an award, all those things are contingent upon the event reports. It's also how we keep track of how many hours have been donated by the Unbelief Network teams. Um, so we have a contact form in case you need to notify us of any changes in contact information. You can add additional people. So um, if you have a couple, uh, like the president and vice president of your group are already BBN contacts and you've uh, hired or appointed a new outreach coordinator, you can let us know via this contact form. Um, so that is all the information that you can find on this site. You can also find my email address at the very bottom of the page and I'm happy to answer any questions you may have um, about event reports or any of the programming that we offer. So for the event report, um, for each of your team's volunteer fundraising events uh, or if you need to request promotion uh, for a future event, you can use the same form. Um, enter the date of the event first uh, and the title of the event. So sometimes your event might have a name that you've advertised, other times it might just be a generic term that you're giving. So uh, today's event is a baby drive, um, sort of a funny example of a food drive, but we're atheists, right? Um, so if you're having a food drive, you could just simply put food drive, it doesn't have to have a clever name. Um, you'll need to select your group name from the uh, this drop down menu. If you can't find your team name, you're going to want to email us and let us know. Um, but as soon as you've been accepted to join Beyond Belief Network, your uh, team should automatically be entered in this. You can either scroll down or you should be able to just 
uh, type in. Um, so I'm going to pretend to be from the Foundation Beyond Belief team. Um, so this isn't a future event. If it were, I would click this box. Um, we're going to say it's a hunger event because we're collecting babies for hungry atheists. Um, you can uh, select multiple buttons if you need to. Um, if, if, you, if it doesn't fit into any of these categories, um, just hit other and just tell us in, the, in this box. Um, the reason that we have you do the category of event and request is it helps us figure out what programming um, we're already doing a really good job at and maybe if there are areas that we could provide additional assistance or idea guides for. Um, so that's why we're asking you for the category of event and request. Um, so I've already entered a description of the event. It just needs to be a few sentences. Um, it's really helpful to know who the event benefited or where you um, had the event, like if it was for another charity. Um, if it's an event where people are donating money or time uh, or food that are not part of your group or you know, if you're donating blood and they're not there for the entire time, you can indicate that there. So for this particular event, we're saying we raised $666, and we had over 100 people come and donate babies, so that's a lot of babies. But then we had 10 uh, volunteers who helped set up and clean up after the event and helped us sort and box the babies, um, which is really important if you're having a baby drive that you get things sorted and boxed straight away. Um, if we had a uh, Facebook page or um, a page on our website that uh, advertised the event, we would link to it here. Um, if you happen to get media coverage, you could also tell us about that. We love hearing about um, your groups getting in the news with your great events. Enter your name. Um, if you are somebody that hasn't filled out an event request, uh, we'll add you to the um, Beyond Belief Network um, contact list so you'll start receiving uh, uh, our regular newsletters. Um, it's a good idea to put your email address so that we can um, email you with any questions you might have. This is my email address. Um, the number of members involved. So even though 100 people volunteered, I'm putting 10 volunteers that stayed the entire length of the event. Um, if you want to tell us additional information, so if you had you know, 40 people volunteer total and they showed up in two shifts, um, you can put that here. Uh, this is also the place where you should put um, information about the type of event if you've clicked other for category. Um, so sometimes we might fiddle with these internally to make sure that the number of donated hours um, is accurate because we do things like uh, just recently we had the 30,000 uh, hours donated to date milestone and so that's why we um, might ask you follow-up questions about the number of members involved in the length of the event. Um, it's really important when you're giving us images that you have permission from the uh, from the location of the event if, if necessary. So like if it's a food bank, it'd be a good idea to make sure that it's okay that you take pictures. Make sure that no one in your pictures is uh, a closeted atheist because we will be sh showing, showing these on our social media and we don't want to inadvertently cause anyone trouble. So make sure that those images are images that you have permission to use and then know that by submitting them, you are giving us permission to use them uh, on our blog or in so our social media. If you happen to take videos, um, you could choose to attach them here. We've had problems with people attaching videos to this. Um, another option if you want to share a video would be to uh, send us a link to your page on YouTube. Uh, you could also attach the video um, at the very end. I'll show you where you might attach that. Um, tell us what kind of social media you're utilizing for your event. Um, so we might offer uh, guides to see um, to sort of help people do different things. Um, so let's say uh, Meetup is a really good tool, but if people aren't really using Meetup, we might offer a guide on how to use Meetup. Um, so let's say we didn't use any social media for this event. Um, if you're, if this is a is a request, you need to let us know what kind of um, promotion you'd like us to be doing. Uh, the blog, the Facebook page, the Twitter feed. For really, really important events, if you would like to help um, with press releases, you can let us know uh, in the comments and suggestions down here. Um, so if it's a successful event, just let us know how it went. 
Um, if you select lots of room for improvement or complete disaster, we will probably email you to see what we can do to help uh, in the future. Um, we'll say this was almost perfect. Um, we're also looking to see over time if the guides that we're giving you are helping events become more successful. Uh, and then anything else that you want to tell us about, you can put in the additional comments, suggestions, um, request for assistance box. If you have, um, this is a good place to put your thoughts about the event if you want to share any thoughts or suggestions on uh, resources that we could provide that would have made your event more successful. This is the perfect place to put them. Um, attachments, uh, you can attach flyers here. Um, you could attach a movie there. Anything you, you uh, want. If you forget to submit a picture, you can add it to the attachments. And then you're, you're done. You just hit submit. And then if we have any questions, we'll email you. Otherwise, we'll add uh, the event to our tracking system. And after you do um, four volunteering events or two Foundation Beyond Belief fundraisers, you'll be getting uh, your level one email, which will uh, give you instructions on how to get those free t-shirts. Uh, so thanks so much for listening. Um, if you have any questions, email Brittany at foundationbeyondbelief.org. Uh, and I hope to be hearing from you soon. Thanks.